hello everyone welcome back to Amstein TV in today's video we are going to Ghana what are we going to Ghana to see we have an organization who is planning and is setting up its everything to help Ghana reduce its public debts that is a big move and a great deal congratulations again once to Ghana everybody is supporting Ghana for the good deal and the good things they are doing the government are doing so Islamic finance can be game changer in tackling Ghana's rising public debt that is an Islamic financial institution have held a meeting in Ghana so that they can help reduce Ghana public debt so thanks to my returning subscribers you guys are amazing and you are the best thanks for the continued love and support and if you are new to the family please do consider subscribing and joining the family as we get to see what the Islamic financial institution have for Ghana so let's get on Islamic finance can help address Ghana's rising debt. It's not lie. Ghana have debts due to the work they are putting into the country, into the economy, and into the development of Ghana. They have debt. So how can they help? How can people from all walks of life help to, to decrease or reduce this debt? This is one of the ways we are going to see. Experts at a conference in Accra unanimously agreed on how this can be achieved. The conference was organized by Islamic Financial Research Institute, Ghana, an Accra-based research institute. Islamic finance can be a game changer in helping to tackle Ghana's rising public debt. This was the unanimous view of experts who made submissions at an international forum held in Accra. The expert drawn from Ghana and Nigeria met at the conference hall of the National Mosque of Kanda for the second edition of an annual Islamic finance gathering. That is the second time they are meeting the 2021 Islamic Finance Institutional Conference, that is the IFIC, IFIC was organized by the Islamic Finance Research Institute, Ghana an Accra-based entity that is leading advocacy in the area of the viability of Islamic finance. The main presentation of the meeting was by Professor John Gatsi, Dean of the University of Cape Coast School of Business. He was the one who gave the main presentation in the meeting. In this presentation, titled Islamic Finance, a timely solution to the rising public debt in Ghana, Professor Gapsi stressed the role that alternative finance system could play in expanding the financial inclusion landscape. He reiterated a view that he has long advocated that Islamic finance in and of itself cannot single-handedly eradicate public debt, but we help greatly to close the public infrastructure gap with project funding and by that reduce the debt burdenly. The professor really said that it cannot be single-handedly done by the Islamic financial institution but they can try their best to reduce what they can reduce we all know that islamic bank when they send out loan they don't take interest they don't collect back interest on the loans so they just collect the, the main loan that was given out that is it they are not going to single-handedly change the situation they acknowledge the fact that the public debt cannot be handled solely by them they will need more hands so that they can join and if possible clear it up for the government they have already chosen their own sector where they are going to be working they said they will help to close public infrastructure gap with project funding and by that reduce the debt burden that is a great move if you read our constitution's definition of public debt that is the islamic constitution definition of public debt is very different from the public debt that we know it includes accrued interest on previous debt that is the conventional part but islamic finance says no don't mention interest talk about profit sharing and equity engagement that is it Professor Gapsi explained further that available legislation gave windows for increment, for incremental implementation of Islamic 
finance product citing the public private partnership act 2020 that is act number 1039 he singled the islamic bonds known as sokok as a critical infrastructure development avenue that government can look to on the specific issue of advocacy for islamic finance he tasked islamic financial research institute ghana and other like-minded outfits to work toward demystifying the subject of islamic finance especially to clear the notion that adopting it for example will lead to islamization of the country that is one point they have made very serious point that many people will like to criticize that they are trying so hard to islamize ghana that is not true the prof said it is not a major means of islamization of ghana he says and repeated it again that they are not trying to islamize ghana that is support of goodwill they are giving to ghana they are not doing islamization so take note of that before you go into the comment section and say they are trying to islamize ghana it is not true so they are not trying to islamize ghana as says prof gapsi other Ghanaian experts who made presentations included mr fauzi mohammed of gm ambassadors a veteran islamic finance advocate professor naim mohammed kamil dangi gala of nos the nigerian contingent also shared experiences from the african's most populous nation came to introduce islamic finance they included Malam At Atahiro Masido, CEO of 117 Capital, Dr. Kabi Kabo, Usman, Director General of the International Center for Islamic Culture and Education, and Dr. Bashir Aliyu Uma, who believe and deliver his presentation on the fundamental principle of Islam, banking and finance via video. That is, they, they insisted and they presented the ways that the Islamic finance, that is the Islamic banking and financial system, they operate to clarify everybody who is thinking that their support, their help to the Ghanaian government is for Islamization. No, it is not for Islamization. Shaibu Ali, Director General of Islamic Financial Research Institute Ghana, on his part, expressed satisfaction with how the conference went. Generally, this was a step up from where we left off last year. With the maiden conference at the Omaye Hall of Ama, we are excitingly happy at how today's event went. We are happy with the local organizing committee and more so with our international partners who traveled despite COVID-19 exertions. We are grateful to our Nigerian guests and are yearning to start work toward the 2022 edition. He added, that is it for the edition of this video. We have come to an end. Islamic finance can be a game changer in tackling Ghana's rising public debt. What are your own points of views concerning this video, concerning the help this organization is trying to offer to the Ghanaian government? Your points of views are highly appreciated and everybody is entitled to their opinion. The comment section is very free. Thanks so much. If you do like the video, please subscribe and consider turning on your notification bell. And don't forget to share the video. Till next video, stay blessed. Love you all.